What's going on, lasses and laddies? Welcome back to your boy Sports Cup for another match day experience vlog. And in today's episode, we've got Sydney FC against Scottish Giants Celtic FC coming down under right here to Australia, to Sydney, to Allianz Stadium. We have the privilege of being joined by one of my best mates who's actually a native Scotsman himself, born and raised in the old Scotland. His name's Jack McCallan, and we can't wait to be going along to a match with him. He doesn't have much football experience, but he certainly has the Scottish. So just before we go and meet him, we've been working on a little bit of an intro. In our last uh, match day experience vlog, which was the Sydney Derby, which you can check out right here, which has a thousand views now, actually. I whipped up a little bit of a quick intro that you can see if you click the video just up there. Uh, but we've been working on a proper intro. It's hot. It's intense. It's everything you need on this channel that's all about sports. Let's hit it. Well, wasn't that a very intense intro? Let's get going, shall we? Holy shit. Well, that's complicated as fuck. We just met up with the man himself, Jack McCallan, the native Scotsman. We've picked him up after work. How you doing, lad? Oh, mate, right. thank you. How are right. you doing? No, not too bad. One of your first ever football games coming up. Hey, well, we sometimes in Scotland, we call that our second football game. Because, you know, <laughs> Things are just a wee bit different with the number and... Are you keen? No, let's get a feed and then we'll go watch Celtic v Sydney. Come on Sydney, are you on the Celtic or are you, are you supporting Sydney? I bought some merchandise just in case you I don't think it's safe to have this accent and those, and those clothes. <laughs> okay. May as well be English. We've arrived in another one of the Scottish relatives. McDonald, similar to your last name, Jack. I'm going to do this order in an Irish accent. Yes, we do order here. Oi, could I get to make chicken meal please, a large? No, 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 uh, just one large. Just one cheeseburger and one large frozen coke, no sugar please. No, that's great, thanks. Thanks, Arthur. I'm picking up the meals, lads. Oh, uh, sorry, that was a ch uh, McChicken meal, not a chicken and cheese meal. Yeah. Please, thanks. They've made a mistake, but it's okay, because we're not like 50 years old and we're going to yell at them about it. Yeah, just get rid of that please. Oh, we're doing oh, a... sorry, this is, we're filming so, us, not I'm you. not actually I'm Irish, him. I'm just doing an impersonation oh. thing. We're doing a vlog. Um, like, what, did, did you want to go? No, it's fine, it's fine. Am I doing something wrong? No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just his vlog and he's diving. What's your channel? It's called Sports Quebec. Do you want me to, like, write it down for you or something? Yeah, if you, like, he's getting a fan, though. This is okay. brilliant. So, so, is that correct? But so, yeah, good luck with that. No, yeah, thanks. Look forward to seeing you on there. Thanks. <laughs> Aye, that was good. That shite, the sun's in my the eyes. They don't have that in Scotland. There we go. Slowly getting recognised in the community, or should I say, slowly getting recognised. My Irish accent isn't the best, and I haven't had the best practice, but the old Irish-Scottish rivalry. To our um, chicken meal, which almost was the uh, chicken and cheese. There's your cheeseburger, my friend. Thank you, that's not the best effort on the fries department, by the way, but we'll take it. I'm starving. I'm gonna rip into the McChicken. Honestly, absolutely nothing like a large McChicken on a match day. Okay, so I realized I forgot my drink. They want me to go back in there and order something else again. But I think you got my drink and I just didn't get any drink. So you got a Coke that does have sugar in it. This is the one that's from our non-existent diabetes. At he says as he goes and drinks more. <laughs> well, I don't have diabetes. Not have yet, you don't. We don't advocate that. Make healthy decisions. Don't go to Macca's. Be like us. Don't be like us, we don't advocate We're planning it. to be reverse influencers. Yeah. Everything you see, <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. We're gonna commit so many crimes, we're gonna trespass. <laughs> we didn't even buy these tickets. I punched <laughs> some user and sold these tickets. Until we're sponsored by Maccas, do whatever you want. We're not, you're not obliged to have it. Do they sponsor people? I don't know. I thought you had to be in the Olympics to get sponsored. <laughs> You're a bit hungry, are ya? He's making it rain. He's paying for the cruel strippers with pieces of McDonald's. <laughs> He's making it rain. <laughs> He's cracking open a shell. 
<coughs> oh my. Okay. Oh, he dropped it. <coughs> he dropped it over the other side. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Am I going to get hounded by Australian football fans? <laughs> No, I made sure you're not going to be in the cove, especially if you're going to go for if you're going to adopt Celtic as your team. It's been really cold. <laughs> Today and yesterday was freezing. I had a jacket on. I didn't think I had a jacket on in November. This is like what it was at home, minus the sunlight. Oh, uh, so you're saying when a Scottish person sees blue sky, they're like, I didn't know there was something behind the grey. They're going to think someone's projected the flag or something. Someone's photoshopped the sky. <laughs> Fake photo. Blue sky in Scotland, obvious photo shot. If you take a photo in Scotland and there's blue sky and it's not raining, it's automatically flagged as misinformation. <laughs> it's like it's not piercing down. Some people in Scotland can't even spell sun. Because they look at that and they think, why when am I going to where does this going to come in handy? <laughs> You're more likely to hear a ween, which is a child by the way, not a penis. Say, oh, I'd like a 20 pack of cigarettes, please, rather than, oh, it's nice and sunny outside. What about the weather? Is it, is it on the warmer side of things right now? It's like 20 degrees, not even. Well, that's like a Scottish warm. Is that, that a heat, like is that a heat wave back in the homeland? No, 25 is actually a heat wave. <laughs> <laughs> So I found out that my camera was left on actually, so we have limited usage of the camera. That's going to be strictly for the football later oh, strictly, on. There's a strictly version of football, I thought they just did dancing. <laughs> uh, you see what I have to deal with whenever I see Jack. But yeah, I apologise if the quality isn't as good. It's going to be, I'm going to try and use it as much as I can, but if we run out then you will notice. Back with this disclaimer at the start of every video, I apologise if the quality is not as good. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, how much do you actually know about football? Because we don't usually talk about football whenever I see you. I'm not much about football, I'll be honest. Uh, you, you just know about that game last night, didn't you? Oh, that, that game? The cracker, that last goal. <laughs> so Celtic basically are one of the biggest teams from Scotland. And Sydney are, well they used to be, no they still historically are the biggest team in Australia. They're just not the best team in Australia at the moment. So my personal prediction is going to be Celtic 4-1 Sydney. I think we're going to score. A lot of people are saying 4-0, 5-0. I'm like, no, I, I, we'll score I think. Uh, Any beginner's luck prediction? Celtic will score a goal in the first 90 minutes. Yeah. So it's going to be 1-0? I don't know where we are. No, mate, you relax. But we're not in Scotland, that's all I'm saying. I've been in this country for over 10 years. <laughs> Just haven't been on this particular team. Oh, new boys in green. Come on, you boys in green. <laughs> so I've met up with a Celtic supporter. Come all the way from Perth, mate. How are you doing? Absolutely brilliant. Is the, the Perth are bringing out a big contingency, are they? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do you reckon the score is going to be tonight? You said we'll be lucky to get out of here alive. <laughs> I don't think you'll score. We'll probably get about five or six if we're playing. You've got to have a bit of optimism. I reckon 4-1, uh, yeah. but 5-0, 6-0. So. Well, the way we're playing I'll recently. I'll give you the one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, the way we're playing, it's going to be an absolute cricket score. But yeah. Anyway, enjoy it. It's great to see Thank you. Thank you very much. Come on, Celtic. I yep. support them. F, F the Rangers. Shame yes. on you not coming right. out well, here. I can't see it, but I'm see it. Yep. Nice. But yeah, anyway. Alliance is green. <laughs> We've been lured in. I've been lured into the Sunset Sydney FC logo. And what's he got? To what does that say? Boys Celtic FC. It says boys with an H like Danny Boy, the comedian. Danny Boy. Looks good on you. You'll need to enter at the gate listed on your ticket. That green looks amazing. I cannot begin to describe how well it looks. Also, the green on your hat, on, there's an under part on the oh, undercut. Under the yeah, too. yeah. It's very dark. That's a classic green, mate. That's 
sit on that front goalie as I click like a ghost pepper. It's a fucking strong, isn't it? <laughs> any closer than that. Hey Jack, your team's looking a bit under the pressure there a little bit. Just hitting the crossbar casually. Just reminding you that we're actually here to play. Not like we were against the Wanderers. And speaking of Celtic on the tag. There again. Oh, it's deflected me. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. It keeps looking a wee bit under pressure without going under the crossbar into the goal area. I love how my words come back to bite me instantaneously. I was right though. That is all in the first 90 minutes. <laughs> that is that is probably the most senior C way to concede. We look on top, we're doing well, and then a deflected goal goes in and we're gonna lose the game 4-0 or something. <laughs> yes! Yes! Da -da 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 -da. What do you reckon, Jack? What do you reckon? Da -da 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 of course, as soon as I turn off my camera because it's on low battery and I was preserving, we score. So I apologise in the drop in quality that you're probably going to get from here on in. But it's still clear enough to see the goals happening as they go in. Oh! Oh my days! Oh. Wow! That is incredible! Half time, it's 1 1. What do you think of your new team? Living up to expectations as a Scottish individual? I didn't really have any expectations. I'm from Scotland, that was my expectation. The newest boy of Celtic is learning the ropes, learning the ways of football. It's 1 1 at half time. Sydney have played a lot better than they did last week, for starters. If we played as well as we did last week, as we played in the first half today, we would have won against the Wanderers. We would have easily won against the Wanderers. We're taking it to Celtic. We could be in the lead. Celtic could also be in the lead, but it's a very entertaining game. We've scored for once. We don't usually score against the big imports that come in. 2-0 loss to Arsenal, 3-0 to Liverpool, 1-0 Chelsea, 1-0 Tottenham. We've scored against Celtic. We've relocated up here for the second half. Come on, Sydney, finish the job. We're, up the, we, we're the Anakins of the football stadium. We're in the high ones now. We've got the higher ground. We are in the high ones. Oh my days. Oh my word, Aaron Good. Jack McCullen's disbelief is in disbelief. <laughs> 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 oh my days! Oh my days! <laughs> Jack, what do you reckon? That's how you play football. Oh, that's actually one of the best goals I've ever seen a Sydney FC play still. And it's Max Seals, Bergie, he was threatening to break through. Oh. Wow. Ah. I just have a funny feeling this will go in. 
off. Oh, oh my goodness. Why don't we bring this level of defensive urgency to our actual A-League games? We would be top of the table at the moment. It's been magnificent. He's too focused on the match. Oh, and that's not even a foul. Far out, whipping that out in a friendly. Far out, you've just removed that word from this match. Do you have anything to say about that bicycle effort, Jack? That was a really bad effort. Uh, it was a tired play. <laughs> stoppage time. Five minutes of stoppage time. Tense, tense moments. Oh. Exhibition matches, lads. <laughs> Sydney Football Club. mind if I do. That is quite the setup. I need to get experience in that. Look at that. That's more like it. That's my first win at the new Allianz. Maxi Bar just da 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 Woo! Can we play you every week? Oh, we've met up with Paulie after the match. We've got Robbie Mack, our very own Slovak. What a chant. You will hear us sing. What a fucking game. You force us in the FC. We had to, got the new kit. Fucking Sydney rap. Wait, you know it. It's sunset day. Like, what a kit. I'm gonna order that. I'm going home and I'm yeah, ordering that. That's I've gonna be my next jacket, kit. I've got the jersey. I just need to get the shorts and the socks and I can be a full kit wake up. <laughs> that, one, that one's gonna last longer than my Ninkovic jersey from Fuck last Ninkovic. year. But how good was that, lads? If we play like that in the A League, we're winning the whole thing. We're not losing a whole match. Champions of Scotland, you're having a laugh. We've lost Jack. We're here at UNSW. Jack caught the wrong tram, like the typical Scots many years. He was too. He, he was, was hiding too, from us. Yeah. Take the shit. Yeah, he was a bit. <laughs> he was a bit down in the dumps after that match. He got a bit lost. So uh, we're gonna have to go and rescue him. He's he's up High Street, which is all the way up that way. That's, Hearts to win the SPFL. <laughs> got Cammy Devlin in the midfield. Do you remember his goal at fucking my car? Code the, fucking oh, collapses defense. Yeah, that was part of my top 10 counter, which you can check out right there, actually. 100 sub special. But uh, that's the pick me up I needed from last week, and that's the one we're gonna go into the one month break in on. So. Force us, Sydney. We picked you up from High Street because you got lost <laughs> like the old Scotsman you are. What happened there? You got on the wrong tram. It's not really my tram, so I was confused. Uh, to be fair, you wouldn't know what public transport's like here in Sydney. It's a little bit confusing if you're not used to it. But at the same time, you should be used to it because you've been here for 20 odd years. Hey, but I wasn't used to that specific tram. Uh, I haven't had to go to Moor Park or not. I can forgive you because if, if you just wanted to get out of the area because you're a Celt supporter, then that's that's very understandable. Then let's hit the road, Jack. We want to go back. We're back at the McCallan residence where I'm gonna crash, stay the night because I haven't seen him in ages. So I thought I'd just stay the night. Got KFC. What did you reckon of the match? So I don't think they can hear you over the paper bag. Oh, I'm sorry.
Are you not entertained? I was very entertained because Sydney FC, my team, won. If they play like that in the A-League, I'd be even more entertained. I'd be more happy. But it's something to work with at least. It's a benchmark for us to strive for when we return from the one-month break. Until then, I'm glad you've made an appearance on this channel, Jack. Have a good one, Paul. Have a good one. If you like what we get up to, subscribe, like, comment, check out our other content on the channel. Um, but yeah, like I said in the previous video, just because A-League stops for a month doesn't mean we're stopping. We've got the cricket coming up this weekend and also Celtic v Everton, which I'll be going to with my mate Ibs. I'm going to enjoy my Zinger box or Zinger plate, as they say. Until the next one, I'm catch you then. I'm going to enjoy his song kissed. <laughs> oh no, 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 okay. I better get out of here quick. He's going to drink all my song kissed. See ya, take care. I've been Sports Cub. Till the next one.